In sports, championships are often the measure of success. Claire Drake won more titles than any other coach in Canadian intercollegiate hockey history. But the banners only tell half the story. Just belonging to a team is not automatically a great experience. But I can honestly say, when it is real, the experience of a team is a remarkable thing. Claire Drake's ability to get the most out of athletes was perhaps best displayed in 1967, when he led both the University of Alberta's football and hockey teams to intercollegiate titles. In his 28 years behind the bench for the Golden Bears men's hockey team, Claire won an unprecedented 17 Western Canadian championships, as well as six national titles. Drake was a coach for Team Canada at the 1980 Winter Olympics and the head coach for the 1984 Spengler Cup winning team. In 1983, he became the first coach in CIAU history to win 500 games and on October 8, 1985, made history by becoming the most successful coach in intercollegiate hockey history with his 556 victory. The list of coaches he mentored is endless. Dave King, Mike Babcock, and Ken Hitchcock, just a few of the coaches who benefited from his teachings. In a business where knowledge can mean the difference between winning and losing, Claire Drake's desire to better the game of hockey, no matter what the outcome, was what set him apart. He doesn't use knowledge as a power, he shares it, and it's very genuine, and that's the biggest influence that he has on the rest of us. A lot of us are not afraid to share information because we've seen Claire do it. He is known as a mentor, a champion, and a leader. Now Claire Drake is also known as an honored member of the Hockey Hall of Fame, class of 2017. To present Claire Drake's Hall of Fame plaque to his grandson, Mike, honored member, Brian Kilray. I know my uh, grandfather, Claire Drake, would have loved to be here this evening. Unfortunately, due to his health, my grandparents could not make the trip. I am humbled and honoured to accept this award on his behalf. Claire would like to thank the Hockey Hall of Fame Committee for his wonderful honour and ex express his sincere grat grat gratitude to all the supporters who put his name forward. It is a special day and he would also like to congratulate the other inductees. Gramps has always believed in lifelong learning and the value of sharing. In the spirit of sharing, Gramps would like to share this award with the University of Alberta, his many coaching colleagues and players, and most importantly, his close family and friends, especially Grandma Dolly, who has been by his side for the last 66 years. I know Gramps believes you get more fulfillment out of life if you contribute something bigger than yourself, and it is great to see him being honoured for that here tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Now, we wanted to share with you Claire's extraordinary passion for the game and for his family. This is from the speech he gave upon receiving the Order of Hockey in Canada back in 2014. For those of us who are fortunate and important sphere of influence in developing our beliefs, purposes, and values is our family. And I've been blessed with a wonderful, wonderfully support, supportive family. My wife, Dolly, has been a constant source of wise counsel for 63 years. She doesn't look <laughs> Sometimes even including, including advice on improving our power play. She doesn't hold anything back. Our daughters, Debbie and Jamie, have provided a beautiful balance to our lives and have given us a wonderful, uh, three wonderful grandchildren, Jackie, Michael, and Matt, who are with us tonight. We've also welcomed three great-grandchildren in the last four years. But so far, two of them shoot left and one right. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work out for the power play, but 